everyone a very warm welcome to think constructive i am isha in this session i will be talking about very very important annotations of a spring and a spring boot framework so i will be building a couple of sessions so that i can cover all the important annotations of a spring and a spring boot framework and this session is going to be extremely extremely helpful for all the java developers java lead and java architect so stay tuned watch the session till the end so that you are not going to miss upon on any other core concepts so let us quickly start with the session now add component annotation this is generic stereotype annotation and it is the most basic and general purpose annotation for declaring a java class as a spring bean what this annotation does is it marks a java class as a spring managed component that means what happens when you annotate any class with add component it tells spring framework to automatically detect a class during class path scanning then create a bean instance of it and manage its life cycle within the application context all right so these are the some key aspects of add component annotation so here it is number 1 automatic detection second generic stereotype third bean management and number 4 dependency injection so these are the key aspects which you should know about add component annotation now i am going to give you a demonstration for add component annotation with the help of which you will be able to in depth understand this annotation all right so watch the session till the end so that you really understand this annotation in depth so let us quickly start with the demonstration so let us quickly bootstrap the spring boot application with the help of spring initializer let the language be java project maven spring boot version as 3.5.6 group com dot think constructive artifact let us have annotations demo okay and demo project for spring boot or rather tutorial project for spring boot annotations all right let me just remove it here let java version be 25 packaging jar and i am not adding any extra dependencies i'll just say generate the moment i will say generate it will create and download the annotation de demo project i'll just open this project in intellij id editor you can use any other java editor of your choice so i have opened annotations demo project in intellij id editor let us quickly have a look on pom.xml so in pom.xml you can see spring boot startup parent with version as 3.5.6 okay and uh, here in dependency section you can see there is a base or core spring boot dependency which is a spring boot starter is mentioned here and other than that there is one more dependency which is test dependency all right so now inside src main java you can see annotations demo application so this is the default code which is given to us after code generation so here is a main method and a spring application run method is written fine so here let us quickly create a new java class so that we can get the demonstration of add component so let me just give the class name as cloud so here is a public class cloud so here in this public class cloud i will just write a simple method public void get cloud and the whole purpose of this method just to print a simple string here we will just say system dot out dot print ln and we will just print some string here let's say google cloud providers so a plain simple java class is created with just one method as get cloud now what do i want i want to access this get cloud method in my main application fine and i'm just not going to create a 
cloud, new cloud kind of stuff. So I'm not ju just going to create explicit Java object for that. Rather, I would want to use my add component annotation to do the job for me. So how would I do that? I will just annotate this class as add component. And you can notice here org.spring framework dot stereotype dot component package is imported that means this component belongs to stereotype package fine and if we go inside this add component let us read what it says what it says it indicates that the annotated class is a component so what happens such classes are considered as candidates for auto detection when using annotation based configuration and class path scanning Fine. So, what has happened? The moment I put at component annotation here above this class, what happens? This class will now be scanned by Spring Framework and will be available in the Spring application context. So, let us come here to our main application. And here, what this line is doing, this is returning the entire application context back. So now what we'll do, we will try to get the application context from here and we will try to get our bean from there, right? So I will just say application context, okay? Application context is equal to this, right? So now in this application context, if my add component annotation is working as we discussed, we should be able to get our get cloud from here. All right. So, what will I do for that? I will just call application context dot get bean. And you can see there are multiple types of get bean method. So, I will call it on the basis of the given class. And what is my class name? That is cloud. Fine. So, I will just take get bean and I will say cloud dot class. Fine. Fair enough. And from this class, I should be able to get get cloud. You can see now it, is, it started showing me get cloud method, which we have just now created. So, I will just invoke it. Fine. I'll save. I'll run the application and let us see what comes here. I'm able to print the message Google Cloud Provider. And you notice I haven't created any explicit Java object here for the cloud class. Rather, I have just fetched my bean of cloud in application context. And from there, directly I am able to invoke getCloud method. I hope the core functionality of at component is clear. Now, if you notice what we have done, we have just called cloud.class. There is one more variation for that. Okay. So now let us understand if we would like to give the bean name to this class or if we don't give what happens. See, so the class name is cloud. If I am not giving any specific bean name to this cloud, what will happen? By default, a small case cloud bean name will be registered. If I would like to give, I need to explicitly mention the bean name here with the component. So, first let's see the demonstration of default bean name which is cloud. Okay. So, this line you can write directly or you can also write like this. I will just put it in comment. And I will show you one more way. So, I will just say cloud. Let's say cloud object is equal to application context dot get bean. And this time, what do I do? I will pass the bean name as cloud. But it's showing me the error because required type is cloud. And what I am getting from here is object. So, I what do I do? I will have to type cast. Fine. And then on this cloud object, I will call get cloud. Fine. Fair enough. It will do the same job. Let us execute and test it. See. Google cloud provider got 
print it. Fine. So we have learned two variations. We have learned one way to call directly with the help of cloud dot class the get bean and fetch it from the application context. Another one is with the help of get bean. Now, if you want to give any custom bean name, how do you give that? In front of component, in the double quotes, you can write whatever bean name you would like to write. So let's say I would like to write demo cloud. Okay. So this time we'll try to access it with the help of demo cloud. So let me just copy and put it here. Instead of cloud, I will just say demo cloud. All right. And now let us execute and see what happens. We are able to still get the same Google Cloud provider. Now I hope you have understood the functionality and depth of add component which is very very important and the most used stereotype annotation of Spring Framework. Thank you everyone for watching this session. I hope you have learned add component annotation in depth. In the next session I will come up with another very important annotation of Spring Framework. Meanwhile Try to explore more sessions on the channel. There are many more Spring Boot microservices Java sessions available on the channel. If you like the session, hit the like button and share the session and channel details with your friends, family and colleague because that is how we will grow more stronger together. See you in the next session. Bye for now.